I'm going to my fantasy teams. It's just too much butter when I stop. So here's your tip. I don't know, I don't want to give it to you in case you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a tenner ahead. It's 200 quid in the pot. Okay, here's my team. Given goalkeeper, he cost me two and a half million. I got Chibonda, Risa, and Abue. My midfield is Gerard, Ronaldo, and Sen. I think it's a good midfield. Enough front I've been Anelka, Van Persie, and Bent. And I'm pinning all my hopes on Van Persie. So Hawkins, do you want in in this league? Ten euro. Ten euro. There you go. Ten euro. Yeah. Ten euros. Good man. I'm worried, Harry. I'll, I'll, I'll somehow make sure you come out with the top five picks. I was going to ask for a seat there, but <laughs> I don't know Yeah, well, the thing about the front row is media sponsors and media partners, they get the front rows. That's why we cannot allocate front row seats to anybody. We just cannot. The front row goes to media sponsors and partners, and we cannot. I, I just have another call coming in. I'll have to call you back there. I'm really sorry about this. I just have a few calls there now at the minute. All right, bye, bye. bye. Rosie, you're too slow in your deliverance of right, words. You. you want to bum in. The reason you got him last time, you let him in the fucking gap there. You're on. How long are you in the office for? Till after 11 tonight, okay. Yeah. Things aren't just going well now. We're very behind. Very much so on sales at the minute, so there's a few men drowning at the minute, and sure, drowned men grab onto anything, don't they? But uh, definitely disappointing with the ticket sales, but sure, that's the way it goes, isn't it? Like this fourth fight in ten months, and uh, Bernard will be getting very well paid, he'll be uh, getting paid a lot more than even some of the current world champions he'll be getting, so uh, I don't know, someone will definitely have to take a cut. Brian's job is to really make sure that everything goes smooth with the fights and the arrangements and stuff like that, you know? I'm going to keep that out of my hair. And, um, in terms of influence on my boxing, like Brian won't have any influence on boxing. Like, you know, he's, Brian's never boxed in his life, so he doesn't... You know, but he knows how to organise things and how to run a business and all that kind of stuff. Just keep pushing, push yourself. I've been really boxing non-stop this year. Been away from the family an awful lot, like, you know, compared to many other years. You're in your last minute. Come on, push it hard. And with Pamela being pregnant now again, you know, it, it's really not fair and hard as well. We've been away for so long. And the last one, side to side. You'll have to do plenty of that, Martinez. No, it's, it's been tough, I have to say, you know, but it's been a good year for me. It's been an enjoyable year. It really has been. It's, been. it's been the biggest year for me, yeah. This Martinez way is going to launch me to the, to the next level, you know. I'm that close now to getting a war tile shot that I don't want anything to get my way. But I can't afford to slip up now, you know. This way is, is a great fight for me. And it's the fight that's going to put me to where I want to be. I think Pat just realised, uh, he says, so we're going to take a bath. Means we're going to lose money on tonight's show. If someone comes in and they see the place and it's packed and they think, uh, sure, Peters is getting a fortune. He might, be giving, he might be getting a fortune, but he's giving out two fortunes. That's the fucking problem. And then he seats me down. I think we're, uh, well, monetary-wise, we're down about... About a hundred and, I think it's down a bit, we're down about a hundred and, hundred and sixty thousand. I don't think there's four thousand, two hundred uh, seats sold. So, that wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't fucking pay for a lot now.
ganar yo, ¿eh? Ay, ay, ay. Pero convencido. Volví bien, a ser el campeón hoy. This is going to be a career defining moment for Bernard Dunn. Extremely tough fight, you know. This kid is 21, full of piss and vinegar, never been beaten. 16 and 0, 13 knockouts, never beaten as an amateur. This is a serious one now. This is a serious one. It's the next big thing in Europe, so they say. You know, he's a great record now, but I just don't think he's boxed anybody of my caliber. Not to worry about that. Don's on form. he has in height and one would presume in reach as well. Dunn goes first with the left lead followed by the right cross. He's like a man cut the black foot so he's got a center style too. He's small and he can hit oh. and he's caught Dunn oh. and the count oh. Dunn disagrees with that Seven. said he tripped and, over and, and fell and but he was and certainly and caught in some shape or form. What a sensation inside the first 35 seconds. Dunn has got to gather his thoughts now and box his way out of this. Martinez going after him. Oh, and he's done again, Dunn, as Martinez catches him in the right hand and goes straight away to the corner. Stay up! Stay up! Doesn't matter! Stay up! Not the crowd get behind Dunn. They desperately want him to recover from this. But Martinez, is he inhibited? They've got their own minds. As he turns away at Dunn, but Dunn gets out of this, he's a great fighter.
Disappointed. It's costing me myself. I feel like I let myself down, my team down. I feel like I let the people down. So. Oh, it's boxing. 